Any of those times could have been the last time I danced, had my bone completely snapped. Did anybody know you were hurt? No, definitely not. Why did you do it? I was 29 years old, and I was really given the biggest role of my career at that point. And I felt had I not done this performance and proven myself that I was capable and mature enough to become this character, that I wouldn't be given the opportunity again. See, you hate waking up because you're waking up and you don't know the reason. You're waking up and you don't have no design in mind. Once you live in your purpose, when you discover your gift, you can't wait to wake up. You have to remember why you do it. And, and if you don't love it, you won't survive because it is hard work. People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And the reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. I found an empty space where I could just put on music and move. You've got to find what you love. What burns in your heart is important for you to pay attention to because it never goes away. Since college is a period of discovery, what I suggest to all college students is, you spend a lot of time discovering your gift. If you wake up pursuing your math, you're gonna have a rough life. That's why people wake up in a rut. Their life has no purpose, no meaning. They, they're not morning people. I'm just not a morning person. You're not a morning person because you, you're not living in your purpose. You're talking to somebody that had flipped his life completely upside down. Pay very close attention to the thing that makes you happy. You can go ahead and pursue your math degree and there's nothing wrong with getting it. But also, take a look at what burns on the inside of you. You got to look at them dreams, man. I dreamed of being on TV since I was 10 years old. I was told I'd never be on TV. I didn't get on TV till I was 38. But boy, when I got there though, once I got on TV on Showtime at the Apollo, I've been on TV ever since. And if you turn your television on today, I'm on TV every single day. If you don't love it, you're gonna fail. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Pay very close attention to the thing that makes you happy. You look at what burns on the inside. You've got to look at them dreams, man. I didn't get on TV till I was 38. Boy, when I got there. Once I got on TV on Showtime at the Apollo, I've been on TV ever since. Do not ignore the thing that burns in you. What burns in your heart is important for you to pay attention to because it never goes away.